I'm Dr. Carlin Center. And I'm Dr. Elizabeth Marshall. Today we're going to demonstrate how to perform a subacromial shoulder injection. Supplies, alcohol swabs followed by betadine times three or chlorhexidine to clean and disinfect the skin, non-sterile gloves, ethyl chloride to numb the skin, a 10 cc syringe, a large 18 gauge needle to draw up the medication, a smaller 25 or 22 gauge inch and a half needle, one milliliter of 40 milligrams of Kenalog, four milliliters of lidocaine, a Band-Aid and gauze. For the next step, you draw up the medications, which I like to do outside of the patient room. And so first I would put gloves on. And for this procedure, I'm going to drop five cc's of lidocaine and one cc, 40 milligrams of triamcinolone, all into a 10 cc syringe. The field is not sterile here, so what I do is uh, open the um, supplies in a sterile fashion. My gloves are also not sterile, so I'm keeping everything clean at the end. I'm going to take a large bore needle, this is an 18 gauge needle, and put that on the end of the syringe. This is five cc's of 1% lidocaine. You wanna clean that off with some alcohol. Draw a little bit of air up into your syringe. That'll make it easier to drop the lidocaine. And then draw the whole amount into your syringe. Next, you'll draw up the steroid. Again, clean the top with alcohol. Put a little air into the vial to make it easy to draw up and you'll draw it right up into the same syringe. You can cap the safety and then take off the needle that you drew up with and put a fresh needle on the end of the syringe because this is what you're going to use to inject the patient. And I like to take the safety off because it sort of gets in the way. And lastly, just remove any air from the mixture that you have in the syringe and you're ready to go. For the next step, I'm going to show the landmarks for the injection and how to prepare the skin. For the subacromial shoulder injection, you could take one of three approaches, the anterior approach, the lateral approach, or the posterior approach. I like to use the posterior approach because that's the way I was trained. Also, it is really comfortable for the patient. They don't have to see the needle. And so for the posterior approach, the landmarks are the posterior lateral border of the acromion, which is here, and then the coracoid anteriorly. And by feeling the coracoid anteriorly, that's the direction that you're going to angle your needle. So using the blunt end of a pen, I like to mark the spot. So finding the bony edge of the posterior lateral acromion and going about a centimeter below, you'll find a soft spot sort of just in the posterior aspect. Um, and that's where I mark. Next, what I would do is put gloves on, and then uh, I'm going to clean the skin using three betadine swabs in concentric circles. The way betadine works is it really uh, sterilizes the skin when it dries, and so it's important after you swab to give the betadine a moment to dry a bit to really sterilize the skin. And so after I do the betadine swabs, I will open up a four by four and open up a Band-Aid to have that ready for after the procedure's done. Once the betadine has had a moment to dry, I'll take an alcohol swab and I'll just hold the corner of it and bring it across the site I've prepped. And that really obviously shows the landmarks well and where you're going to go. Next, spraying with ethyl chloride to freeze the skin and provide a little bit of anesthesia. Warn the patient that this might feel a little cold, a little burny. And I actually put my hand here just to kind of shield the patient a little bit. Sometimes you'll also get a little dripping down below, which is okay. You'll see the skin turned white. That's just that it's very cold. And then the last step I like to do is to take another alcohol, holding it by the end to keep it sterile. Uh, and I'm just, again, triple checking my spot, feeling this posterior lateral corner using my index finger to feel exactly the approach I'm going to take with the needle and uh, angling towards the coracoid anteriorly. 
And so then you would take your syringe with your needle, and this simulator has a long spinal needle, but typically my needle would be about an inch and a half. So I'll typically hub it, and you wanna go click quickly through the skin and just advance then gradually, uh, heading slightly up and towards the coracoid. And so that's probably about where it would be for the patient, about an inch and a half deep. And then once you're there, you would aspirate and then inject the fluid all together. And, and then you would back out. After the needle is out, put a four by four down. And then it's nice to clean with iodine around the spot. Sometimes you have to really scrub to get the iodine off. So hold the four by four down, keep everything clean, and then really scrub off the iodine. And, and a Band-Aid over the spot. I let the patient know they can take the Band-Aid off tomorrow, 24 hours, and you're done.